Every now and then, our water can be a wee bit off colour. So let's take a couple of minutes to find out why that is and what's being done about it. Let's clear up a few things about our water. We'll start at the very beginning and go back to the source. Napier's water comes from one of the cleanest and best aquifers in the country, right below us. It's part of the Hiratonga Plains underground water system. There are several bores which go right down to our aquifer. At the top of the bores are pump stations. These bring the water up and then pump it through 484 kilometres of pipes to our homes, businesses and reservoir. And this is where the real risk of contamination can occur and why we chlorinate. But more on that shortly. In 2017 and 2018, after the Havelock North Inquiry, some bores were lifted above ground and improvements were made to underground bores so they can't be contaminated by surface water. They're now safe and secure. A water sampling program in 2017 showed traces of E. coli in our reservoirs and network. This is one of the main reasons why, after consultation with our local district health board, the water is chlorinated. Chlorination kills pathogens like E. coli and other nasties that might get into our water network. Today, water coming from our aquifer is fresh and clean, but sometimes you'll see discoloured water coming out of your tap like this. So don't drink it. It's perfectly okay to run your tap until it goes clear. In fact, it's a good idea to go outside and run your garden tap until it's clear. That way you'll keep any sediment out of your water cylinder. The most common cause of dirty water is from something called biofilm. It's in every water network in New Zealand and the world, whether or not a system is chlorinated. Biofilm is a build-up of organic and inorganic matter attached to a pipe. The build-up of biofilm must be regularly removed. To do that, the council regularly flushes water from fire hydrants and they also use a technique called pigging or swabbing. This is called a pig. It's made of foam and it's pushed through the pipe under pressure and that dislodges the biofilm. As it's dislodged, the biofilm can cause the water to change from clear to brown or even black. The mains line is immediately flushed to remove the dirty water. However, it can get into the pipes between the mains line and your property which can't be flushed. Just run your garden taps until the water goes clear again. A change in network water flow, like when maintenance work is being done and bores have to be turned off and then back on again, can dislodge biofilm. Or when booster pumps are used to pump water to parts of the network where there's a higher demand. Again, it's perfectly alright to run your tap for a few minutes until it's clear. However, if your water doesn't go clear, there might be something else happening in the network, so you should call this number. Napier City Council are working right now to ensure there'll be a plentiful supply of fresh, clean water in the future. Improvements will include adding more bores to the system, maintenance work will be carried out more frequently, plus adding more cleaning points to the network. There are some big changes planned for our water supply over the next few years. For instance, we'll be switching to a gravity-fed system. This means that water will be pumped from the aquifer, through a pipe to the reservoir, and then through another pipe to homes and businesses. This keeps the water pressure and water direction consistent, and combined with the regular maintenance program means you'll experience dirty water less often in the future. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that's cleared a few things up.